Speaking of Dazzy, you were around the Lawrence brothers quite a bit and Dazzy as well. What, what, if you were to take some of the skills, talents, beliefs, uh, parenting skills that Dazzy has that you'd want to bring into your relationship with your daughter or future kids, what were some of the skills or phrases or things that Dazzy did that you would love to extract and adopt as a father yourself? He did a really good job of framing everything as um, how, how did you learn in this situation? And it's really as simple as that. That's powerful, big time. Big time, it takes the pressure off because even deep into the season, listening to Hunter's interviews of after races didn't go well, does a pretty good job of reflecting on the fact that, you know, learning, chipping away at it. Would I jump up and down about this season? No, but I'm learning every step of the way. And when learning is the goal, that's power. It's that's powerful because that's um, I feel like that's a detach. That's a really detached way to go about it. Because the the fundamental like thing that you're trying to do learn equals you have to create you have to forget your old self because you have to change. So you're not attached to something, right? That's it. And he just drilled that in day after day after day. And it's funny. And I saw it firsthand, and that was a powerful time for me because I was just starting to apply growth mindset with dirt bikes, oh. right? I learned it and it was easier to apply in every other aspect of life, but I was really struggling still to apply that in dirt bikes. And when I lived with those guys and trained with those guys in 2023, it was an important time for me because I, I, I was just starting to figure out how to apply it on two wheels, which and, is cool. And it's funny you say that because I was sitting in on the press conference for the Philadelphia Supercross that just took place uh, yesterday or yeah, yesterday. Yeah. And, um, you know, Brian Deegan was, was standing right in front of me and, and I listened to Hayden and Hayden talked about learning too. You know, you use that word several times and learning is the word that people use who have a growth mindset, you know? And so they know that things aren't fixed. If things are fixed, what can you learn? There's nothing to learn. Mm -hmm. You're, you're, you're limited as opposed to limitless. And so, uh, that's, that's pretty powerful. And then what's also interesting is you think about it, it's like, well, what's the common link? You know, if you asked me, what's the commonality between the Lawrence brothers and, and Deegan, um, or even the Deegans, including Hayden, uh, Haley in that H Haley Deegan. Yeah. Yep. Um, look at the parents. Mm -hmm. We have a strong father, but not a helicopter father. And you have a father who fathers who are very intentional and very aware of the energy vibe and the power of the questions that they bring. And they're aware of this growth mindset and they're almost like mental performance coaches as parents, it seems. Yeah. Would you agree? Yep. Yeah. And there's not a lot of that in the sport yet. There's not a lot of that in any sport. That's why the, the top athletes rise to the top because that's the separator. Mm -hmm. It's a hard thing to teach even to the highest level athletes. I could go down the roster of Supercross and say who I believe is growth mindset mostly versus fixed mindset mostly. Who'd be the top three that you think are growth mindset? Lawrence's number one, Deegan's number two. I struggle to find a third. Is that the reason why people are struggling in that second, I don't want to call it second tier, but I guess I just did. But isn't it interesting that we're both, I'm even thinking of what to answer and I can't come up with anything. Maybe that's the reason why these athletes are standouts. Could it be true? that that is the differentiator and that's why they tend to seem like they're at another level. Maybe that other level is a it's combination. It's not even of, a question on hundred percent, hundred percent, a hundred percent. And so that other e even level in Deegan where Deegan is a less good example, because I don't think, I, I think that jet has a much better build. Mm -hmm. So I think genetically he's in a better starting point than Deegan is. Uh, 
I think that plays a very small role in it, but it's a slight advantage for mm -hmm. sure. That's going to separate people big time. I, I'm sure I could think of a third person, but I can't off the top of my head. It's not a good sign, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't know all of these guys extremely, extremely well. I know a lot of them pretty well. And uh, yeah, those are the best motocross riders in the world and they don't have it figured out. So I guess like those listening, give yourself a little credit. If you feel like you're struggling with certain things or you, you feel like you take one step forward and two steps back with your mindset and leveling up, so doesn't everybody else until something clicks and then you get it. And once you get it, and this is what happened to me two years ago, and now I'll never not get it. You know, I, I have like a, just a core belief now that I don't know anything and all I'm doing every day is just learning more and more and more and more and more. Instead of like, I know everything, I'm going to tell you why I know everything <laughs> and I'm super talented and I'm smart and I'm this <laughs> and I'm that. And it's like, that's not getting you anywhere. If you guys enjoyed this podcast clip and you want to listen to full episodes, make sure you go download them on Spotify and Apple Music. If you want to watch full episodes or be a person that sends in your own video submission, go to club.themotoacademy.com and subscribe to join the Moto Academy family today.